I really like my LED panels from Aperture, the Lightstorm LS series. The only problem with them is that they need to be softened when you're doing an interview style shot like this. And the reason you need to do that is, well, first of all, soft light generally looks pretty good on people's faces. The way I've been doing that is I use these shoot through scrims, which are part of a five in one reflector. And I have to get another stand out and clamp those to the additional stand in front of the light. So you shoot the light through the scrim. That softens them up nicely, but then you gotta schlep around another stand. So that was a problem I was trying to solve. So this company, Carmi, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review any of their products. They carry mostly photography gear, but I looked through things and it turns out they have this umbrella adapter, which is going to work perfectly for my Aperture LEDs. So the way it works is you have a yoke and the body is all metallic. Uh, it attaches to any sort of light stand or century stand with a standard stud. And then from there, you can attach an umbrella on the umbrella adapter and it has a little screw to kind of retain that in place. And then of course you mount the aperture or whatever LED you're using on top of the stud at the top. And that gives you this very nice overall kind of combination that makes it very easy to mount an umbrella, which gives you the same softening effect as a scrim, but now you only need one stand, which is awesome. Now I ran into one thing that I first thought was going to be an issue and that was that the retaining screw for the umbrella adapter was in the way of the retaining screw for the aperture light storm. So actually it turns out that's not a problem. You just have to screw in the umbrella screw all the way until you attach the light storm, then you can unscrew it and insert the umbrella and everything fits just fine. The knobs on the adapter are all plastic, although they seem like fairly high grade, so I don't have any concerns there. The knob that allows you to adjust the angle of the adapter is actually quite nice because it has teeth on it. So once you clamp it down, it won't slip and start to sink while you're in the middle of a shoot. What's also nice about the angle adapter is that the umbrella and the light move in unison. So you always have the light perfectly aimed through the umbrella, regardless of the angle that you set it to. The adapter will hold up to six kilograms and just for reference, the Lightstorm itself, the LS1S panel, is actually under three kilograms, so no problems there. One of the really great things, the adapter is just under $15 US, so it's very affordable. Speaking of umbrellas, one of my favorite ways to soften light is to shoot through a white silk umbrella. And Carmi actually carries umbrellas as well. This particular one is a 46 inch, and it seems pretty high quality. I've actually owned several umbrellas over the course of my photography and videography career. And even the name brands, some of them seemed kind of chintzy. They didn't, they didn't hold together very well over time, unless you take really, really good care of them and don't travel with them a whole lot. But these look actually quite nice. The rod itself appears to be solid. I don't know if it's solid all the way through, but it certainly is at the ends. So that, that lends itself to a lot more quality and kind of durability over time. Now, just for comparison, here's what it looks like when I soften with the umbrella. And here's what it looks like when instead I soften with just the diffusion paper that comes with the LED panels that I have. And this is a pretty typical way that videographers will soften light. You can definitely see there's a little bit of a difference here. The shadows aren't quite as deep with the umbrella, but there's still a good amount of contrast. So they're both legitimate looks, but oftentimes for people who are a little bit older, who have some wrinkles perhaps, uh, softening a little bit more with an umbrella gives a more flattering look to their faces. And a very nice thing is that the umbrella only runs $23 US. I've got links for each of these down below. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.